Hi, my name is Ed Burkholder. Um, today I'm going to give you a demonstration on the methods and processes I use to create a finished comic book page. Keep in mind <coughs> that these methods and processes are different to each and every artist. So the things that I show you here today are not necessarily exact rules to follow. Uh, each person does what they are comfortable doing. My first process is usually to storyboard my script idea. Uh, as you can see, you can kind of get the uh, idea where the lettering and stuff's going to go. You get an idea how many panels you want on each page. Average comic book size panels per page is five to seven. Uh, comic books usually 26 pages. Once you have an idea what your comic book page is going to look like, you will lay out your comic book page. Most comic book pages are 10 by 15. Bristol I am working with is 14 by 17. So you're going to have an inch space on the bottom for a border and, and two inches on either side. So I've already pre-mapped this out. Draw what will essentially be the outside edges or corners of all your panels. And on this page I decided I was going to have five panels on top of a gigantic splash panel. Splash pages are generally used for the cover. That's where it's just strictly one illustration from top to bottom. So you will draw out all your panels. And they are done. They should look something like that. Now that you have uh, laid out your panels, you uh, draw your artwork in there. Now that you've got it all drawn out and your scripting's in place, uh, one thing to keep in mind is that you want your script to kind of follow a left-right Z pattern. Uh, it's a little more readable that way. And then you want to uh, make sure that the art and the scripting do not intrude upon each other. Now that your pencils are done, you can ink. Uh, as you can see, it's already pretty much been inked. I use uh, Super Black India ink. You'll ink out the page, including the panels. Uh, for the panel lines, generally I'll use a rapidograph because those you pretty much want to be uniform. And uh, again, for the uh, lettering boxes, and then I use the uh, calligraphy pen. Same thing, India ink, and do my lettering. After your inks are done, then you can move on to color. You just basically decide the color scheme of your work and put the color in from there. And here, after all of your work is done, are the three different steps of creating a comic book page. So here you have the pencils, which is what I did first. Then on a piece of tissue paper that was placed over top of the pencils, I did the inks and then colored it at home. But that would be the finished product. This entire process from beginning to end can last anywhere from 8 to 16 hours. Alright, well thank you for your attention.